And that's V, who's always very opinionated. Very on everything. spirited, some might say. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> so V, if if you're there, what should the what do you think the Hunger Games fans should be called? Um, well, my only qualm with it at all is that a lot of the time people will turn like the little like fan terms against the fandom. You know, like, and use it in a negative connotation. So I kind of like just being a Hunger Games fan. Um, but I, I mean, the most, I'm not all that, I mean, it, this is going to sound weird. I'm not that creative, so the only one that I've thought of is Mockingjay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of like just being a fan of the Hunger Games series because I don't want it to turn into, you know, something that Saturday Night Live is making fun of you know, right, right, right. exactly. Like they make fun like of Die or whatever. You know. Yeah, or the Liebers <laughs> or whatever. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know, well, I mean, I think a lot of people hot. feel a lot of people feel that, that, that way. Yeah. Well, not I mean, all I names are just, terrible. I think it just fits a different kind of um, media than the Hunger Games is. Like, I feel like the capital fans of the actual Hunger Games would have had a little name for themselves. So I think it'd be weird if we played into that. Hmm. Right. You know? No, I definitely it's see that like, argument. Um, with, um, I mean, as a Doctor Who fan, the Who fans are called Whovians, which I quite right. enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I th- that kind of came like, I feel like that makes, you know, kind of sense. I almost feel like if you have to try too hard to come up with a name, it's, I don't know. Like it's it'll sound like contrived maybe. Right. You know, like right. You know. You know, I I just call myself like a Hunger Games fan or oh, you know that series <laughs> of Hunger Games, I like them, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um Yes, exactly. I like that gender one that you said girls on fire and and I, I boys really of like Fred that one or, too. Boys boys of Fred. Isn't that kind of a it's a little bit chauvinistic though it's like what are you trying to say that every guy is like the breadwinner aren't we in this like new feminist age hey, no well, we want every guy to be PETA <laughs> yeah we want every guy to bake the bread not, not, we'll earn the money he can bake the bread <laughs> <laughs> what about if we just divide it gender wise and we say all the women are are Katniss and all the all the guys are guys who want to get with Katniss. That might be more. <laughs> so wait, wait. I think that would look a little strange in print, though. Don't you think so, Adam? I, yeah, think, so. The, I think so. What about the girls who want to get with Katniss? And what about the boys who want to get with Peta? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. This, this is true, and I know I know in fan fiction there's there's plenty of that. I'm not trying to single anybody out here. But, <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. I'm just joking. Um, no, so great discussion. You know, just all I would say is to everybody out there listening, if you haven't weighed in on this, either go to any one of these sites. They all have things up about it. Or go to um, the Hunger Games movie Facebook page and throw your – I think they're up to like 590 comments now. That's, That's crazy. Helps. There's a lot of interest.